Greetings from LA, my dear, dear friends. This is Daisuke, and I very, very much hope that this video finds you well and in very, very good spirits wherever you are in the world. And I want to take this opportunity, if it's okay with you, to just uh, drop in uh, and to uh, give you, if you're interested, a little bit of a brief channel update, nothing of any significant impact or adverse effect or dire consequence, nothing of the sort, uh, but just to, to give you a little bit of a sense of where I am and the state of this channel. Again, nothing very serious. I should point out uh, that I have been away from the YouTube space for, I think, about a two weeks or so. It's been, I think, uh, a stretch of two, two and a half weeks, maybe close to three, since my last video. And I was, during that time, just, it was around the November holiday season or November holiday week, and uh, time spent with family, and then just trying to get work done because of the holiday time and just trying to get uh, uh, work that I needed to get done prior to the holiday and then coming back from the holiday, just catching up with things. Uh, and things just, I think, uh, crept up on me and I didn't realize just how quickly time seemed to fly until here I am and it's already December 2023. We're almost at the end of the year and into the new year, if you can believe it. Time certainly flies, does it not? And so uh, that's where I was. And I think also I was just finding myself uh, very maybe exhausted or just tired, not really feeling up to uh, having enough energy for uh, for doing uh, the YouTube videos uh, like I, I, would, I would want to. I mean, I would try to sit down and then suddenly I would feel... Uh, feel suddenly uh, the the attack of sleep uh, creeping up on me uh, quite uh, quite uh, uh, intensely. In fact, so uh, it would be a very uh, it was very difficult for me to sit down and and try to do videos like I usually did. So I was trying to I think I was spending more of the time uh, uh, getting a, a little bit more sleep and trying to catch up with that, and then also just uh, trying to put a few things. Uh, work-related to bed, and then uh, just spending time with family, because I, uh, again, this is our first time as a family to be here in this country during the course of the, um, what shall we say, the, the November-December uh, holiday season. And so, um, and I've, I've lived in this country before, but it's the first time to be here with my family, and so uh, we are uh, experiencing it as a family together. So that is very fun and exciting, but it, al it also uh, means uh, new experiences and, and uh, uh, just taking things in, which is a lot of, of uh, a lot of, say, stimuli and a lot of, of uh, uh, say, uh, 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 details to take care of, things, planning and the like. So I think all of that caught up with me and I was just feeling uh, the need to uh, take it easy. So to speak. So that's what I was. Been, that's what I've been doing over the past, say, a uh, few weeks. But it hasn't stopped me from watching any movies. Uh, and on the contrary, I was uh, continuing to watch a lot of movies over the course of these uh, few weeks. I haven't seen anything in the theater, uh, unfortunately. But uh, I'm not sure if I'll, I'll have time to do so. But if I am able to, I'll try to do so. I should point out too that uh, I spoke with a number of people online, uh, and uh, one. I just want to give a quick shout out to my dear friend Matt. I don't know if you're watching this video, Matt, but hello. Hello, Matt. And so it was nice to see you. I was. Uh, I took a trip, a uh, very brief trip, a few days ago to Amoeba Records. Again, I really like that store, Amoeba Records, in Los Angeles, uh, on uh, what is it, Hollywood Boulevard. And uh, I think the, the, the store, one of the, the Hollywood Walk of Fame stars near the, the entrance to Amoeba Records is, uh, I think it's Cecil B. DeMille's star on, on the Hollywood Walk of Fame or something. But any event, many others, of course. But um, So I was there, and I was browsing. I was there for about an, maybe an hour, a little bit less. It was a very crowded day, so very a lot of customers there. And I was looking also, among other things, the Blu-rays and the 4Ks and also the book section on the sort of the, the second floor 
uh, section uh, where they also had posters, and I was also looking at the t-shirts. I was very tempted to get a, a Dario Argento Suspiria t-shirt, but uh, I, I decided against it. Maybe uh, maybe that can be for another day, who knows. But in any event, yes, I was browsing through uh, a number of things, and I I made my purchases, and uh, I, I uh, left the store, and I was walking to the I was walking towards the parking lot entrance and I suddenly heard a voice saying Daisuke and I said oh what's what is this and someone was sitting in a, a chairs nearby uh, two or three people or three people there and then one of them uh, said oh Daisuke and he stood up and, and came over to greet me and this was uh, someone that I had known uh, having lots of wonderful film related conversations online uh, but this was our first time to meet, so this was my uh, f my dear friend Matt. So I want to say thank you very much to Matt for for uh, for recognizing me in that way and for recalling uh, our conversations in this uh, w wonderful uh, way that you did, and you remembered all these details of uh, things that we had spoken about and uh, things of my own background that I had shared, uh, and that you. Uh, you remember that and you mentioned that it really flattered me. Thank you so much. Um, and uh, I don't, uh, I, I wasn't, uh, I was very, uh, very happy to see you in person because we, as, uh, as I mentioned, we had talked a lot uh, about films. And in fact, I think um, you were, you were on your way, were you not, to go watch in at the New Beverly, which was showing the screening on that day of the John Carpenter film, The Thing. So I think you and your friends were there just uh, waiting for the showtime. Uh, and uh, so you just happened to be sitting there. And lo and behold, uh, we have this meeting. So I, f I consider myself very, uh, very honored to have been able to meet you in person. It's, uh, it's quite, a, quite a thing indeed. I'm, uh, uh, and I was very humbled uh, by this experience, uh, very honored and very humbled indeed. Uh, and to be able to meet you in person and to get those wonderful film, cinema, loving energy and vibes, that was uh, really something. I, I needed that. That was uh, certainly a, a great thing. Really, really great thing. And I know that you were able to watch The Thing, the movie The Thing, in the theater uh, after uh, we had spoken. So uh, I was very jealous, and I still am, because I, I heard about the screening at the New Beverly. I wasn't able to go, but uh, I heard about it, and I thought, wow, that is really awesome. So uh, in any event, uh, that is uh, that was a really, really lovely highlight. Uh, so thank you very much, uh, my dear friend Matt, for, uh, for recognizing me and for... Uh, uh, calling out my name and the like I was and for taking the time to speak with me I was uh, I was really very honored and very humbled by that and I hope that uh, it's uh, uh, it's the first of many uh, in-person conversations that we might have so um, I look forward to any future uh, conversations in that way uh, and uh, it's already December so uh, I know that I have a lot of criterion titles that I haven't spoken about yet I haven't the next film, that is up for discussion is the film called Freaks by Todd Browning and and uh, as well as the other films in that Todd Browning set and then after that there's a discussion on the others and I'm ready to do that and then there's also a discussion on Nanny and then there's also a discussion on the films in the Jackie Chan Criterion Collection set and then after that there's a discussion on The Last Picture Show in Texas Film and then after that, there's a discussion on a film called Mean Streets. And then there are some, uh, there's a, a film, uh, La Ceremonie, uh, as well as uh, s some other titles in the Janus Contemporaries lineup. Um, and so, and all these Janus Contemporaries lineup uh, films are uh, first time watches for me, uh, beginning with a, a film which is called in English Godland. And so, uh, so there's uh, actually a lot that I wanted to discuss, as well as the most recent releases from Criterion that took place this week, but I haven't been able to get those yet. I have to try to venture out to my nearest Barnes & Noble over the weekend and see if I can uh, 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 I can um, uh, get uh, a copy of those. But uh, in any event, that's the lineup, so I'm going to try to catch up with everything I have 
a few weeks left until the end of the year and uh, the idea is after all those are done I will do uh, what uh, I usually do at the end of the year is to talk about what I think are some of my favorite parts of the Criterion releases over the course of this year 2023. There were a lot. There's a lot to talk about. So I usually like to do this thing, my, my favorite uh, uh, my favorite uh, like essay or cover art design or or um, uh, my uh, my favorite uh, uh, supplements or and then release etc box set or collector set etc so I'm gonna uh, that will uh, again fingers crossed uh, there's no change in my plans to do that it's just a matter now of just uh, catching up with all the discussions that I had planned uh, to upload but just didn't uh, get a chance to over the course of these past two weeks or so so um, I apologize if anyone had been uh, waiting uh, for those but uh, uh, they haven't been forgotten, so uh, I will uh, take care of those as soon as I can. But I'm feeling much more better. I'm feeling much better. I'm feeling more energetic now. And uh, I think uh, maybe it was uh, the lack of sleep or maybe some something, some kind of something that had sapped my energy to the point where I just needed a little bit of a recovery period. I probably can... Uh, can attribute that to maybe just the the fact that it's been it's been a really uh, fun and exciting, but also very eventful and uh, yes uh, hectic uh, past few months and uh, past several yeah few months in terms of moving to this country uh, and all the things that that entails. So uh, it's I think maybe uh, all that stuff uh, caught up with me in terms of my my stamina levels, uh, and I'm not getting any younger. So uh, I think that's what it was. My body was just telling me I just needed to uh, sleep in for uh, an extra hour or so here and there. Uh, so that's what was going on for me. But as I say, I wasn't totally out of commission in terms of film watching. Um, and I must say too that I I was uh, I just now actually today got a package from the great team over at uh, Shout Factory. I did a pre-order on the Shout Factory store. Uh, so I have a package down, so I, hasn't, I haven't opened it yet, so I have to do that. But I received uh, from my pre-order from Shout Factory a wonderful, uh, well, it's a great film. Uh, it's one of, my, one of my favorite films of all time, and it's this, which is Clue. And I think I have, yes, uh, it, it's... Um, it came also with a slip cover, uh, but uh, here it is just without the slip cover for now. But Clue, yes, this is the 4K release. Um, disc 1, which is the 4K UHD disc, and then Disc 2, which is the Blu-ray disc. So uh, I absolutely, gosh, I absolutely adore this film, Clue. I really do. Um, I'm saying this as I'm just trying to put something to, there we go, I'll use... Sorry about this. I'll use Creep Show. I don't mean any disrespect to Creep Show, but um, there we go. Just for purposes, I haven't planned this, but just put that there for purposes of of, uh, of uh, display here. But I I absolutely adore this film Clue. I think it's it's a film that I saw on VHS in the eighties. I've never seen it in a theater, but I've seen this so many times. As on a VHS tape, as a kid, and I, 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 I've seen it so many times. I have so many things memorized, and so I love this film. I've uh, seen this film more times than I can count. Uh, again, it was one of those revelatory things watching as a kid, and and it was in the mid '80s, so '85, '86, I think, or '85, '86, '87, around that time when I discovered it. I don't remember exactly the point, but it was around that time. So I would have been about, gosh, what six, seven, something like that, when I first watched this again with a VHS rental. And this this was again one of those things where I've mentioned this with other films, where you watch a film and it sometimes has dialogue um, uh, that involves vocabulary words that were beyond my comprehension at the time when I was watching it. So I was watching, as I say, five, what is it, five, six, seven, and it, it had uh, dialogue that was talking about blackmail, red herrings, 
Um, and the things I didn't know what blackmail was. I didn't know what red herrings were. So whenever this discussion about red herrings, you know, communism is just a red herring. That's one of the phrases of uh, of Clue. And so whenever I heard that phrase as a kid growing up, I was thinking, what what is what, you know? I didn't quite know what communism was. I didn't quite know what red herrings were. So to have these two things that I wasn't quite sure of, as I was watching this film as a, a six year old, uh, it it created this kind of um, uh, mystique around what the meanings of these were. And even as I tried to look them up, I still didn't quite get it until I was a little bit older. Uh, but uh, yes, yeah, so this is an example of films adding to uh, my vocabulary uh, and helping with my kind of comprehension uh, uh, to a certain degree of, say, concepts or, or ideas that are maybe sometimes political, sometimes legal, etc. So blackmail is the same thing. I didn't quite know what the, the phrase blackmail was at the time, but it, it is a, something that comes up very prominently um, in this, uh, in this uh, film, a uh, brilliant film. And so uh, I've just seen this film so many times I've lost count. And so, you know, and I actually have this on a, a earlier, uh, older release, Blu-ray. Uh, and I, uh, but when I heard about this release from Shout Factory, I, a Shout Select series, I had to, uh, I, I couldn't resist. And so, um, uh, and so uh, there, there we go. So it, it became, it's now part of the, the, uh, my, now daily watch and I've seen this film now so many times on this release and it's great to see it in uh, in this uh, release it, it's a 4k release I'm not sure I mean it's not like a I wouldn't call it a super sterling pristine uh, a super 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 clean sharply delineated 4k transfer to my eyes and ears uh, but I I don't think it needs to be for me, it, because it, it occupies in my memory that space of the of things that I really loved as a kid, and I loved to watch it as a kid in the sort of VHS format. And I think the transfer um, it it has spots where it feels almost VHSy, and I mean that very very much as a compliment. Uh, and I think that's actually very important. So uh, it, it has a, a sense of the the VHSiness of uh, films from uh, the mid '80s uh, that really occupied this space uh, from uh, uh, during the VHS era. And I should point out too that the, the, some of the supplements do make uh, make reference uh, to the fact that I think yes, the the first supplement, which is the Jonathan Lynn discussion, the director, he does make mention here, um, which is a kind of Zoom discussion, uh, online Zoom discussion. He does make reference to the fact that this film it was released theatrically. Uh, Clue was released theatrically, uh, and it has one of these great gimmicks of having different endings. And so I think the idea was upon its initial theatrical release, certain uh, showings would be one ending and other showings would be another ending yet other showings would be yet other endings. And so uh, you, depending on what showing, what theater you went, you would get a specific ending, but you wouldn't necessarily get all three. Uh, you would get all three endings around the time that this was being prepared, according to Jonathan Lynn, for TV and then for VHS. And then that's according to what Jonathan Lynn says. That's where this film really took off in terms of what one might call its cult status, its huge popularity. Because I think among many things, I mean, that's one of the great things about the VHS era is where films that might have gotten uh, maybe uh, flown off of the radar in terms of their initial theatrical release really found a voice and an audience in the VHS era. And I think Clue is one of the great examples of this. Uh, it also showcased, which I didn't realize until Jonathan Lynn had mentioned this, which was that it really showed how clever this film is in terms of its writing and construction by the fact that you could see all three endings together and they all work. Um, I, I mean, there are some fairly kind of minor details here and there, of course, but they all work. 
they all really work. And so uh, I think that's uh, it shows maybe on a subliminal level just how clever the construction is. I never fully appreciated that until I got much older. And now with the advent of, say, this, this most recent release of this film, I can uh, really take hold of that uh, very, very well. So uh, I'm s so happy to have been able to receive this. Um, and thank you very much, Creepshow, for uh, lending your your support here. So uh, this is the Blu-ray of Creepshow, by the way. So, um, but, um, I have the 4K here somewhere as well. But in any event, yes, uh, that was occupying my my time and my, my or one of the uh, my... Uh, cinematic energies as a manner of speaking uh, over the course of these few weeks. And I think it's uh, in good company because I really love this film, Clue. I really do. Um, uh, gosh. Um, gosh, I, I, I guess I would quote, give a quote to Clue, but it might be considered as a type of, I don't want to get uh, get to, uh, uh, yeah, I'm going to become overly uh, excited about Clue, so I'm going to control myself where I can. But in any event, that, that was one of the things that uh, I was able to watch over the course of this uh, these few weeks, among other things. So uh, very happy uh, for that. And uh, it is a great reminder of my childhood, you know, what I used to watch uh, as, a, as a kid growing up. And, you know, um, uh, you know to borrow, uh, I, I mean, well, I was going to say something, but I'll, I'll, I'll leave it at that. So uh, in any event, that was occupying some of my time, but I was, again, feeling sapped of energy in terms of uh, uh, a diminishment of my level of stamina. And I think that, among other things, that's probably due to my, uh, my, um, uh, my certain circumstances. But uh, uh, I'm glad to report that I'm feeling much more uh, stamina-filled and so I shall uh, proceed as briskly as possible with uh, videos between now and the end of the year. Uh, and also, I have a few uh, discussions that I've had with uh, some very, very lovely guests on this channel. So uh, I don't want to say what they are or who they are now, but I will uh, upload them as soon as I can. They were very kind to uh, appear as guests on this channel, and so I have some lovely uh, video discussions and interview discussions uh, that I hope to share uh, again uh, over the course of the next uh, few days. So if you're interested, please uh, check back to this channel for more information. Uh, but I should also say too that yes, it is the end of the year, or we're almost at the end of the year. And I personally cannot believe it. I, I'm pinching myself or, you know, proverbially, of course, I guess I could really pinch myself. So there we go. I'm really pinching myself. Not so strong because I don't want to cause myself too much pain, although I do feel a little bit of pain, but it's not outside of my comfort zone. So I am pinching myself, trying to remind myself just how, how, uh, how close we are to the end of the year. I, it's really, really quite, uh, quite mind-blowing just how fast this, a lot of things happened over the course of this year, but also thinking back on it, it seems like quite a while, but also seems like only yesterday. I don't know. I always get this uh, tw uh, feeling of of, uh, of melancholy as well as excitement for uh, the frontier, what lies ahead, and uh, and the like. And there's always this idea of, of uh, uh, looking back back things and also looking forward and also right to uh, to enjoy what uh, what's happening right now so that's what I'm trying to do at the moment uh, it's uh, sometimes right there might be some uh, matters in terms of uh, maybe uh, you know, uh, maybe the busyness of one's schedule or stress or, or, or the like that might get one down uh, and there's a lot of things that are happening uh, right uh, many places so uh, of course of course there are things uh, that aren't uh, and there are many things that are happening that are very serious and that are very grave uh, so of course it is not all uh, happy things that are happening of course it isn't right it's a very uh, serious time that we are all living in but uh, right and I don't know what your personal situation might be like uh, I'm not sure uh, what your 
uh, schedule is like between now and say the end of the year. It might be uh, filled with many uh, possibilities. There might be some difficulties, uh, or maybe a combination of the two. Who knows? Uh, but uh, what I can say is that uh, I very, very, very much hope. Truly, I very much hope that whatever the case is for you, my dear, dear friends, my dear, dear friends, I very, very much hope that all is well with you, or as well as can be,、uh, given everything that is happening, given all the circumstances. I very much hope that all is well with you, or as well as can be, and that you are taking very, very good care of yourselves and your family and friends and loved ones, because that is a very important treasure. Truly important treasure. And after you have taken care of these very important things, once you have uh, uh, addressed all the things that you need to address, after you have taken care of、uh, things that you need to take care of, my dear friends, I very much hope that you continue to watch a lot of great, great, great movies, whatever they be, they may be for you. Whatever favorite movies that you have, whatever films that you want to watch, and for whatever reason, for whatever feelings that you may have for them, I very much hope that you continue to watch a lot of great, great, great movies. Because, because, right at the end of the day, you deserve it, and it's a wonderful thing that uh, uh, we are able to. To do and say, which is we are able to enjoy this wonderful thing which we all love, this mutual、uh, admiration、right? we have for this great thing which is cinema. So,、uh, on that note, yes,、uh, I will、uh, continue on, and、uh, I will hopefully see you at the next one. But until then, my dear dear friends,、uh, yes, stay strong, stay safe, and cheers. Thank you.